Have you ever heard something and someone told you something or someone taught you something or tried to teach you something and there was a still small voice inside that said, no matter how much what they're saying makes sense, my inner spirit, that still small voice inside is saying, that's wrong. That's not right. That's mm. false. Well, let me tell you something. You better listen to that inner voice known as the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. To guide, lead, and direct you into all truth. Hallelujah. And when that moment comes and it doesn't sit right with you, yes. just know the teaching might be false because the Holy Spirit knows best. You better listen to that still small voice. teaching hmm. truth or lie the truth of God's word takes time to study hmm. and it takes diligence but the more you and I know the truth as it relates to the word of God the more easily we will be able to recognize false teaching oh yeah See, the Bible warns us that false teachers and false prophets will rise in the last days. Hmm. Since you know it is coming and is here, how do you recognize false teaching? Okay. Come on, live chat it in. How do you? How do you recognize false teaching? With so much teaching available to us, mm -hmm. especially with the social media, the, the different platforms that we have, mm -hmm. how does false teaching reveal itself today? We don't have the time, as you know, in this short time that we're here together because there are many false teachings that reveal itself. We can share with you some foundational principles so that you would be able to better know and to have a clear understanding how to recognize false teaching. Amen. That's what we're going to do. Hallelujah. Now, this message is not meant for you to, to judge. It's not meant for you to criticize everything that you see and everything that you're listening to, but it is to help you and I to be able to recognize mm -hmm. and to teach you to ask the Holy Spirit for discernment, discernment and to get into the Word of God for yourself with proper teaching. Yes. See, 2 Timothy, the New Testament, chapter 2, verse 15, reads in this manner, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Mm. See, some of us are listening to everybody and everything, but not taking time to study the word. Mm. Yes, I know that you have a prayer life. I know that you have a prayer closet and that you're spending time with the Lord and good as we should be. Mm -hmm. However, are you taking time to take your Bible? Okay. Do you have your Bible dictionary? Do you have your Bible concordance? Okay. Do you have an ink pen, a journal? Your lexicons. To take Come your on. notes, yes. amen, so that you, are, the question is, are you setting aside that time mm. to study the word? Yes. Have you incorporated it in your schedule? If not, you should. And if yes, keep going. We need more pastors. We need mm -hmm. more teachers. We need more evangelists. We need more prophets. Hallelujah. We they need. are needed for the kingdom work to Absolutely. build for the perfecting of the saints. Yes. The, the best way yes. to identify, to know something that is false mm -hmm. is to know what is real, mm. to know what is true. This is how they teach people to spout, to, to identify counterfeit bills, bills. Yeah. by learning everything about a real bill mm. they can tell when one is fake and Come even still now, then 
for those who were you gonna say something no, pastor no i'm just asking them are they hearing this yes then even pastor. when you go in the stores yes. for those who still accepting cash they have a marker because mm -hmm. these people have probably not been properly trained to identify a fake bill and they'll mark over it and they'll let them know okay this is acceptable this is real this is not counterfeit mm -hmm. right yes by learning by learning everything that you can learn to be able to identify what is true, mm -hmm. what is a lie, what is false, what is false teaching, right? Absolutely. This is also true of teaching. We want to share with you some fundamental characteristics of the biblical teaching, of true biblical teaching. Okay. Number one, true biblical teaching points you to Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. If you agree, type in agree. Number two, true biblical teaching puts your growth and benefit ahead of the benefit of the teacher. Amen. Mm. I'm going to say that again because Please I want to make that sure again. that yes. you get this. True biblical teaching puts your growth, your spiritual growth, mm -hmm. right? Growing up in the things of God and That's in right. his word and benefit ahead of, of the, the benefit of the teacher, yes. of the pastor, yes. of the evangelist, yes. of the prophet. Amen. If amen. you agree, type in a amen. Say agree. agree Give me amen. some thumbs up. That's <laughs> amen. Right. Come on, preach with us. Number three, Thank the you. true biblical teaching moves you toward being Christ dependent, mm. not teacher dependent. Come on, not now. pastor dependent. Come on now. Not looking for a prophetic word We're dependent. Nothing. That's right. If you agree, type in agree. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to stop making people men and women yes. your God. Amen. Amen. Don't make men and women your God. Let God be mm. God because he is God. And he's God all by yes, himself. He and he doesn't need you and I or any other human being, amen, now. to be God. But allow God to be God in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So here are just a Hallelujah. few ways how false teaching reveals itself. Mm. If you go with us to 1 John, chapter, chapter two, 2, verses 15 and 16. Yes. And it reads in this manner, excuse me. Do not love this world, nor the things mm. it offers you. Come on now. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in, in you. you. My God. For the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, mm. a craving for everything we see, yes. and pride in our achievements and possessions. Yes. These are not from the Father, mm. but are from this world. Mm. Now, the NIV translation says, do not love the world or anything in the world. Mm. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in mm. them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh. The lust of the eyes and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. Yes, yeah. First John chapter 2, verse 15. And 16. And 16. Amen. So here it is. The things of the world may be desired and possessed for the uses and the purposes which God intended. Mm -hmm. And they are to be used by his grace. Amen. Amen. And to his glory. But believers must not seek or value them for those purposes to which sin abuses them. Mm -hmm. The world draws the heart from God. And the more the love of the world prevails, the more the love of God decays. Mm. I'm going to say it again. Say the again, world please. draws the heart mm. from God. Mm. Mm. And the more mm. of the love of the world prevails, the more the love of God decays. decays. The things of the world are mm. classed according to three ruling inclinations of depraved nature. Number one. The lust of the flesh, mm -hmm. of the body, wrong desires yes. of the heart, mm -hmm. the appetite, appetite of mm -hmm. indulging all things that excite and inflame sensual pleasures. Mm. Number two, the lust of the eyes. Yes, the eyes see. are delighted with riches and rich possessions. This is the lust of covetousness. Mm. Number three, the pride, pride of, of life. life. A vain man craves the grandeur and pump up a vain glorious life. Mm -hmm. This includes the thirst after honor and applause. Yeah. The things of the world quickly fade and die away. Mm -hmm. Desire itself will ere long fail and cease. Mm -hmm. But holy affection is not the lust that passes away. Come on now. The love of God shall never, never fail. fail. Amen. Hallelujah. The love of God shall never fail. Never fail. Amen. 
Some of the most common motivators. Come on, type never failed. Come on, type never failed. Amen. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Some of the most common motivators for false teachings mm -hmm. are the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, or the pride of life. See, worldly desires that are, are present in the false teaching mm -hmm. are those listening to them. They're often, mo they, they, they're often motivated because it, it, it meets them where they are. But let me tell you, sometimes, as, as, as rich as the Word of God is, mm -hmm. The, the word of God should convince us that it's real, but there should also be a conviction, conviction, excuse me, Amen. when we're being taught, uh -huh. when the word of God is being shared with us. And I'm not saying in all cases, but it depends on where we are spiritually. Mm -hmm. There's no way that you and I should be able to continue in sin. Even the word of God says continue in sin. God forbid. God forbid. So do I continue in sin because it makes me feel good? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so then when people give excuses, right? I'm talking about people in ministry. When mm -hmm. we give excuses and we pat sin and we rub sin, on, we cuddle sin. Placate. We, and we do those things. What we're doing is we are, are beginning to appeal to the emotions of people. Yeah. See, a false teaching appeals to people's emotions. It does. By nature, we are all emotional beings because that is how God created you mm -hmm. and I to be, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. While our emotions often entice us and draw us away, Pastor Kofi, sound biblical teaching, sound of biblical teaching should bring us back to a place of balance. Amen. It should not try to just create positive emotions and to make us feel good, nor should it stoke negative ones playing out, out, out or off oh, our fears, yes, right? Yeah. See, good teaching may acknowledge the emotions, but teaches you to respond in a manner, watch this, and Pastor Kofi said it in the introduction, that aligns with godly principles. Amen. For example, Ephesians chapter 4, 26 says, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. Uh -huh. But the word also tells us, be angry, Be angry, but sin, sin not. not. Be angry, but sin not. See, the Bible clearly recognizes that we get angry, and we do. Mm -hmm. Anger is an emotion. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, in your anger, do not sin. Do not that sin. is the balance. Uh -huh. You the, know, Pastor, mm -hmm. just, to, just to highlight something about the false teaching. Yeah. The false yes. teaching, if you uh, want to also identify some characteristics of the false teaching is it aligns with most of the time it aligns with your comfort zone mm -hmm. That's it good. aligns with your common sense it aligns with yeah. your logic okay and remember god is infinite in his thinking yeah we humans are finite yes. in our thinking yes so yes. we can only go a certain level and when it breaches the level of our understanding, then we tend to say it's not true. Right. If we don't understand it, it's not true. Right. Right. I don't right, understand right. turn the other cheek. I right. don't understand do as unto others as they do unto you. And all of the things that Christ teaches doesn't make logical sense mm -hmm, to me. Mm -hmm. No, I do know fight fire with fire. Mm -hmm. I do know if you get me, I'm going to get you back. Right. Double. I know those things yeah, because yeah. they are wrapped in sin. Yeah and logic mm. and when a false teaching comes your way it is going to appeal to the nature of your flesh yes to yes, the comfort yes. of your logic person. to the comfort of your flesh to the comfort of your desires yeah. amen? amen and and it will have some truth in it right and i just want to say this Distorted, yeah. your 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 negative enemy the devil came at your great 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 grandmother Eve and said surely surely God didn't say XYZ yeah. but what he would do ILM to capture her attention mm -hmm. was use some truth yeah. inside of a pack of lies yes 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 and that is how it works in a false doctrine there is some truth thrown out so they may say mm -hmm. something that rings a bell in the teaching that has to do with truth. And you just hear that one thing, yeah. like you hear in a song, and you just hear that one thing in a song, but you don't yeah. really know that it's saying some nasty stuff yes. or saying some stuff that you shouldn't be saying, but you just like the beat so much and you just repeat and chant the beat, right? Mm -hmm. Or chant the, the, the hook, mm -hmm. right? 
that's how it is with this. The truth is added in mm -hmm. and then is shrouded by a pack of lies. Yes, that's right. The lies are um, uh, conduit or, or, con or right in connection with your logic and your emotions. Yes, you follow yes, what I'm saying? Yes. So then you hear the slight truth and then the pack of emotional content or mm -hmm. you know logic content you mix that together and you believe it yeah and next thing you know you're believing in a false teaching yeah amen amen, amen. amen. so thank you pastor Kofi. you're welcome pastor. here it is many times false teaching leans into our emotions and they may even exploit them based that's just what pastor just shared with us right amen false teaching can rile up a person's anger mm -hmm. fear and even pride while on the other side, they can just tell people what they want to hear. Mm. So they walk away feeling good about themselves. My Lord. The false teachers will even create teachings that celebrate things God hates. Hmm. See, many times instead of using the word of God as the balancer, it is used to push you further over an emotional cliff. Mm -hmm. To do this, they will often take the scripture out of context. Pastor just shared that with us. Mm -hmm. Political and social false prophets work this angle to perfection. My God. Pastor Especially too. with that fear. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, think of everything that's going on in our time right now, Thank financially. You. Yeah. Think of the fears and concerns you just got in the last two months about finances. Yes. And what is going on with banks and the Federal Reserve and all of those things. It's fear driven. I'm not saying that some of the things aren't true, but I'm saying it's conduit or conducted by those politicians that you just spoke of mm -hmm. who feed it into the system for that fear. Yeah. And that yeah. fear guides us, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what you do with your money. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and as, as you were talking and sharing that with us, I hear the Holy Spirit say manipulation. Yes. Manipulation. We don't have to be manipulated. We just need to do what we need to do. And that is to get into the word of God Amen. for ourselves. Amen. 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 Pastors who only want to tell people good things about themselves often do the same thing. Mm -hmm. If you discover the teaching that you're listening to is driving your emotions without balance, it's possible that it's a false teaching. Mm. My Lord. My Lord. Now we can continue, Pastor Kofi. Or we can come back next Sunday if it be the Lord's will and talk about the false teaching, how it appeals to greed. I think that's what we'll do, Pastor. I think that we all are enjoying not being tricked. Yeah, amen. If we can show you ways to not be tricked, wouldn't you want to hear what those ways are? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I amen. agree, Pastor. Amen. Tell me about your, uh, before we end, what led you down the road to understanding false teaching? I know I have my testimony. I might give it next week. But what is it that you dealt with? So for me, and that's a great question. Thank you for asking me that. For me, I was, um, I won't say that I was, I wasn't new in salvation, but I was new in studying the word of God. Uh -huh. And so because I wanted to be of a sound mind and mm -hmm. I really wanted to have understanding of the word mm -hmm. that I really was fearful that the teaching that I was under um, God rest his soul <laughs> Pastor Isaac Wilson Sr. is that I wanted to make sure that when I went out to visit uh -huh. and if I decided to listen to other people who were ministering the word of God that it would be so clear that I would be so anchored in my soul, in my spirit, Hallelujah. with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit giving me discernment, that I would instantly be able to recognize false teachings my when man. I heard it. Amen. And so for a long time, I would just sit with that particular ministry. Mm -hmm. I was a part of a Bible-believing teaching, Word of God, Jesus Christ Church. Okay. But one of the things that I was very careful about was going out visiting and, and listening to a lot of different preachers and teachers because for me, I had to develop mm -hmm. my own personal relationship and what this scripture meant and what the word meant. Okay. I was, um, I guess you can say fearful. Mm -hmm. Now I probably wouldn't 
identified as fear, but then it was fear. I did not want to be led astray. Mm. I really wanted to know the word of God and have understanding of his word. And so when I was more anchored in the word, then I would go out and visit. I but see. before then, I did not. I sat right where I was under the teachings um, with who I was being taught by. Mm. And that's what I did. I stayed there. And then when I was more um, confident and really could have the correct interpretation of the word of God, mm -hmm. then I went and I visited out. And I instantly knew when the word was false. I instantly knew when people were prophesizing if it was not oh, real. Wow. I instantly knew, not because I knew, but because the Holy Spirit was giving me discernment. Mm -hmm. And and there have been times where I, I've been to different ministries and I got up and walked out because it was not the word. Mm -hmm. And yeah. your spirit could bear witness with the truth. Yes. Because you had been exposed to the truth. Yes. See, it, it, it's, it's kind of like this. If you have no truth, then there's nothing for the Holy Spirit to recall Absolutely. that it doesn't line up. Yes. If, if I hear one doctrine and uh, of truth, and then I go on several times later, and I hear another doctrine, but it's about the same subject, mm -hmm. then my spirit will say, wait a minute, yes. that's not lining up with the truth that I once received. Yes. But if you do not have any background of the word at all on, that's right. on a subject, yes. right? I'm not going to say in the word period, but on a subject, yes, yes, then there's the nothing past. for the Holy Spirit to bounce you back in alignment yeah. with what the truth about that statement is yes. because you don't have a foundation yes. of what it means. Simply put, you didn't hear it in the beginning. You didn't learn it in the beginning. Yeah. So when someone comes with a doctrine or a notion or an opinion, you believe it right away because you have nothing to gauge it by. Right, right. No truth to gauge and it, it by. And it sounds good. Because and it sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, listen, if that's you, if that's you and you find yourself in a situation like that, just simply understand this, that the best method is to understand the word yourself, to rightly divide the word of God. The Bible says to rightly divide the word of truth, right? And so you have to rightly divide that word of truth on each subject yes. matter that matters to you. That's right. Subject matters that don't matter to you. Yes. Rightly divide them and see what they mean. Don't just sit and listen to someone preach or teach, okay? Do not, here's a caution sign, flashing caution, flashing caution. Do not get so comfortable, so sedentary in your ways mm. that you choose to sit under someone and just hear the word, listen to the word, watch somebody preach the word mm. over and that. over and over again and take everything that they say as face value. Wow. No, here's what you do. As you're hearing the word, go back to the word, go home in the privacy of your home yeah. and rightly divide that word oh, of God yes, that yes, you yes. heard. I don't care how much you like the person that preached it or taught it. I don't care how much you are engulfed in their personality and their 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 ways or their their what they call that um when you have that charisma, that that it factor. Uh, I don't care how much swagger they have. You follow me? Go back and redefine what that word of God that they taught means to you. And when I say redefine it, I just mean by rightly dividing the word. Now, prayerfully, you'll find that what they have said to you is true. Yes. But if you find peradventure in your study that it is not the truth, now you have the word of God for yourself yes. and you don't have to worry about anybody else's recollection of what a scripture means because you've done your due diligence about that scripture right. and you know what it means so when you hear it taught somewhere else in another jurisdiction in another church on another platform mm -hmm. or you've been invited somewhere and it's another ministry type that you are not necessarily a part of but it's a uh, a Christian church, you follow me, of some kind, or a denomination of various denominations, no matter the denomination, no matter the, the church, no matter the title of the church, the word of God is the same. Amen. You follow me? And yes. so no matter the denomination, no matter the church, no matter the preacher or presentor, right? 
No matter who is giving you the word, the word should always what? Line up. Precept upon precept. You follow what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Well, I tell you what, Pastor. The false teaching is something that we need to avoid. Because when we become engulfed in a false teaching, we tend to teach others that same yeah. teaching. Yeah. And then the false teaching goes and spreads abroad because each person you speak to will then speak to another. Yeah. And if they are really hot with it, they'll speak to a group of people at one time. Yeah. So they can literally take a truth that you feel is true, but it's actually a false teaching. And they can teach that to others and others go on and teach it to others and so on and so on. And before you know it, you have a theory of doctrine that does not line up with the, the word, word of God. God. Amen. That's all we're saying is rightly divide, rightly divide that word of truth so that you can avoid false teachings. teachings. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We hope that you've experienced some value from this message today because we sure have. In your note taking with us in the future, start note taking as you can because God is rich in his Holy Spirit yes. and the, what the truths that he illuminates to us yeah. while ILM is preaching and teaching. And you can catch nuggets from the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Sometimes he may give you something that we didn't say. Amen. I love we it. didn't actually say those words, yes. but you received and interpreted yes. it a certain way and God is in that way for you amen because you all receive differently amen, amen. but we just want to avoid teaching you false teachings amen. and we want to make you aware of what false teachings are like or to get you to trust that inner voice that we call that thing that I feel I feel like this is something just told me no that something is the Holy Spirit. Yes. And when the Holy Spirit moves, you move. And when he cautions you, you stop in your tracks and you identify the yes. word. All it is is a caution. He may say stop or he may say investigate. And if he says investigate, stop still and take some time and rightly divide that word of truth. Amen? Amen. All right. Well, listen, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior. Please take this opportunity this morning to reach out to him. Hallelujah. Reach out and grab him. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to physically reach out your hand. Your heart mm. is reaching out right now and he can sense and know what you are really feeling right now. And the Lord knows that you want him now just as much as he wants you yeah so if you do not know the lord jesus christ as your lord and savior repeat this prayer after me say lord come into my life save me make me new and fill me full of your holy spirit so that i might be evidence of what you preached when you were here on earth and furthermore god help me to avoid mm. false teachings in jesus name in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, again, I'm hoping that you experienced the value because we did. And most important thing about the value that you received is why you received it. You received the value because we at ILM love, love you. you. But more importantly, God, God loves, loves you. you. Blessings. Peace. We'll see you soon. God bless you.